In this Bissell One lesson, today we're going to focus on the verbs. My name is, and my name again is Professor Olivier with IBC, and uh, I created this approach to help students prepare for TOEIC, TOEFL, and IELTS exams, and also arm themselves with English uh, to be able to function in, in any business setting, whether they and they speak only English or mix it and they'll be uh, comfortable to, to function. Alright, so um, we're going to focus on the basic verbs or operators, right? So it's going to be quick and easy. Now, normally people when they study in verbs, they just go to uh, the, uh, you know, regular, irregular verbs. But this approach is kind of different. We're using the uh, 16 verbs that Dr. C.K. Ogden has identified in his research um, that he uh, designate them as basic verbs, meaning essential verbs that people who are learning English need to um, understand, be able to use uh, so that they can be functional in English, right? So when we talk about verbs, you know, we're talking about those words in sentences that uh, indicate action or state and that's why you see all these pictures over there where you see this one's jumping this one's running this one's really elated extremely happy this one is indicating something showing something and this little beautiful girl is quite happy so verbs are there to indicate um, actions and states once you see them in a sentence and that uh, would be their function. Okay, that's one of the eight functions of, her, of uh, um, you know, words in English speech. As you recall, there are eight functions, which are um, noun, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Now, these are the 16 verbs that Dr. C.K. Ogden has identified. They're not that difficult, but he said that they're essential. They can help you express a lot of things. For example, if you take the, the verb get, okay, if you try to translate it, you can get lost. Get means to acquire something, okay, to take it. But uh, when you accompany that with prepositions, you can describe a lot of things. 